In our final segment of Community Focus today, we welcome Ron Beacom, director of MCTV. Hi, Ron. Hi, Judy. How are you? Good. Most folks who are watching today already know you, even if they don't know it, because Ron has been our technical director today. On the other side of the studio wall, he's been calling the shots and uh, cueing the graphics and the sound and just synchronizing all the aspects of the production. But he locked down the steering wheel. He has some help. And he's joined us on the set now to talk about a couple of the opportunities that MCTV is offering to be TV instead of just seeing TV. So what do you have planned? Well, we're going to hit both age group or two age groups today on both ends of the spectrum. Uh -huh. First, I'll talk about our summer video camps. We've been doing those for about 12 years now. Oh, yeah. uh, it's open to kids ages 12 to 17 who are residents of Midland County. Uh, we offer two separate camps, one in June, the 22nd through the 25th. Mm -hmm. We go Monday through Thursday from 1 to 5 p.m. Our motivation there is we figure uh, teenagers need their sleep in the morning. They do. And by starting it at 1 o'clock, it enables parents to pick their kids up on their lunch hour well, from work, bring them here at 1, and then after they get out of work at 5, they can pick the kids up. Fun. It's Monday through Thursday because we know Friday's in the summer. A lot of times people bug out of town to go up north. Sure. So the first week is June 22nd to 25th, as I mentioned. The second is August 3rd through 6th. Mm -hmm. So the kids can sign up for either one of those. The cost is $50. For that $50, the way we break down the camp is the first two days we have some uh, icebreakers so the kids get to know each other. And then uh, we train them in different aspects of our facility here in the studio, our field cameras and editing. They also get a chance to read off a teleprompter. At the end of the second day, we have a lottery. And the kids, we draw the kids' names and then they pick jobs. And then that's their job for Wednesday and Thursday where we actually produce a TV show. So we have some stuff shot here in the studio, mm -hmm. interviews with different community people, library director, people from the city. And then we also do field segments. Uh, those are sometimes at Dow Gardens, here in the library, uh, the Center for the Arts, uh, Whiting Forest down the street from us. So we do different field segments. Staff works with the kids on the post-production. And at the end of Thursday, we invite family members in, parents, grandparents, brothers, sisters, to come in and watch the show with the kids. We have a pizza party. And at the end of that, uh, we put their show on TV. They pick up a DVD the next day or the following week. And it enables them, by participating in camp, the kids are become access users here at MCTV. Their camp fee covers that for a year. And they're invited to help us to do high school football, the Midland Symphony Orchestra, work on shows here in the studio. Uh, it's a good way for kids to get a taste of television and production, because if some kids are thinking about, well, what, what's a future career, they can participate here for very little cost, really get some hands-on, and get a sense of what they want to do in the future. That's a really great program. Yeah, we've had a lot of fun with it over the years. Oh, yeah. So I know that you and your staff always like the, the camp. What, what are some of your favorite stories about camp? Uh, I think some of the experiences when we go out uh, in, uh, at the different sites around here, you know, walking around waiting for us. Uh, we did a neat segment a couple years ago at Dow Gardens where they had sculptures there carved by people from some uh, African country, and they dealt interviewed a gentleman who represented the group along with the guy who ran Dow Gardens at the time, Marty McGuire. So that was a neat experience. We've had some neat stuff here in the studio. And it's just neat, the group of kids that we'll bring in, a lot of times they don't know each other or maybe they signed up with a friend. Mm -hmm. uh, we shoot for eight kids in each camp. And uh, it's neat that by the end of the week, they're a real team. The kids, oh, kids yeah. really get along and, and we have fun. And it's a mix of boys and girls. Some camps are more boys, some camps have been more girls, but usually there's a mix. That's cool. Well, every grown-up grown up has had that moment at least once where we think, oh, the kids get to have all the fun. Mm -hmm. I was just having one. I understand that MCTV's got some good news for grown-ups that want to have a video camp experience. Tell us about that. Yeah, I, this show will start being televised in late April. On Wednesday, the 29th of April, uh, we will participate or will have participated in the Midland Daily News Senior Expo out at the mall. Mm -hmm. So we've decided to set up a booth there this year. And with that, we've set up a special training class, one of our regular workshops, but in the middle of the week in the afternoon in mid-May. On Wednesday, May 13th, we're offering a special class for seniors. So if you're a new retiree, out of work, looking, I mean, retired <laughs> from work, or if you're out of work, uh, if you're looking for something to do and want to 
find a new way to serve the community, we're encouraging you to come down here to take our training so you work on studio shows like this, like just like the kids, ball games, concerts, things like that. If you get an idea to produce your own show, we're always encouraged that. There are nonprofits in town who have events all the time who are looking for volunteers to videotape their activities. So we want seniors to come down and take part. I know we have a lot of retirees here who participate at MCTV. Uh, some over the years who came down here just to do a couple things and have been volunteering with us for 10, 15 years. And what I think's neat about the experience is here, and you know, Judy, from your experience, and John on that camera and Tim on this camera, that you get exposed to a lot of different things happening out in the community. Either you hear about them, like today's show, you hear different things going on around town, or when you go out to an event and record it there. So it really, really gets you, gives you a sense of community to participate here at MCTV. Well, thanks, Ron. Yeah, I agree with everything you just said. Thanks for joining us and telling us about the camp experiences that we can look forward to. My pleasure. Well, we're glad that you joined us for the May installment of Community Focus. We've enjoyed hearing about some exciting and some challenging and educational activities that we can all look forward to in Midland in the coming months. And remember, if your club or organization would like to join us at this table in months to come, find our application online at MCTV's section of the Midland City website or visit MCTV in per person and fill out an application. We'd love to have you be part of Community Focus, too.